spinning around her brain. And I asked the creator, I said, what is this? And um, he told me what we were doing was called polar opposites. And then he showed me her brain. And he showed me that we were erasing the neural pathway to that belief system. So it would just stop. I've been doing this activation with a lot of people, including myself. And the thoughts, those programs just disappear. And it's really amazing. And like Karina was talking about, is that there's an addiction to these energies. We'll also be erasing that addiction. Does anybody have an addiction that they don't like, something they do and they feel funny about it and they like to let it go? You know, sicknesses, belief systems, emotions, we're addicted to those. And when we're in that addiction, it just keeps creating itself over and over and over again. The people might change, the situation might change, but it's the same energy. You know, some people are very addicted to having trauma in their life. Even sicknesses can be an addiction. You know, or being hurt or being a victim. Those energies are also addictions because it's something we've created. We're used to that energy and we keep recreating it in different ways. So I'm going to do two of my activations today, the polar opposite and the addiction redirection. And your job in all of this is to focus on whatever emotion is that you're ready to let go of. And what will happen over the next two days, those beliefs will start coming up and they'll start transforming. I was working with an amazing um, lady a few days ago and she came to the show yesterday and she was in overwhelm all the time in her life. She has this business that she's running, which is an amazing business, but she was always in overwhelm with it. So she couldn't go further because she was afraid of being in more overwhelm. So she came to me yesterday and she said, you know, this, this feeling of overwhelm started coming up. It came up like the same intensity it used to, and then it just disappeared. She said it was gone. I said, and what will happen is it'll just quit showing up at all. Because what happens with these is the energy shows up, shows you what you believe, and a lot of times it could be a collective consciousness belief system that you're not even aware you're running. And so with this energy, it disconnects you from that collective consciousness of the fear and the suffering, and plugs you into the unconditional love of the fifth dimensional grid system that is around the planet right now. And the more of us that plug into this, the more of us that plug into this, because it's like the hundredth monkey syndrome, right? When you, you learn something new and you start sharing it, it starts spreading. This is the same thing with this energy. We're connecting into that unconditional love, which is our true birthright, to have that unconditional love in our lives for our creation, for us. We are this creation, we are the universe, we are the planet, and we create everything that happens in our lives. All of our experiences, the people that come into our lives to teach us lessons. The places we, you know, Spirit was teaching me this. I moved out of the town instead of just clearing the collective consciousness of it. I moved out of the town because my business plummeted when I was there because I was in that energy. It's important to know what collective consciousness and everything else is running your life so you can disconnect from it, so you can be in your true power and run your life instead of that background program, like on a computer, is running your life. And when you get connected to that and you disconnect that, then you're in your power and you're able to step forward and be power on this earth. Because remember, you're as important as anybody else. Doesn't matter who you are or what you do, there's nobody on this earth that's more important than you are. Remember, you're a unique fingerprint. So is everybody ready for some activations?